Okay, quick example. We have a wall and then there's a string attached to it. Uh, you're holding on to this rope by hand. I guess your hand kind of looks like a wrench. Uh, let me give you extra fingers. Oops, that looks more like hair. Okay, hairy hand. Done. Uh, you're pulling back at a tension of say 3 newtons, which is about 300 grams, very lightly. And then you're moving up and down. I guess your hand can't move super fast, so let's just say 2 hertz. You're moving up and down 2 hertz. Um, the amplitude, we're not going to care. Then later on, as you send these pulses down, what you out eventually see is that you have the sending wave kind of developing. We're not going to care so much about what happens on the other side for now. And you basically get a sending wave pattern. Whoop. Sort of like that. That's usually how you draw sending wave. You can just draw the outside hums actually. That would be just fine. And between the nodes, you measure 30 centimeters. Okay, and the question is, um, what is mu? Simple as that. So given these information, how do you find mu? Let's talk strategy. How, what can we relate mu to? Well, we know that the phase velocity is given by oops, t over mu square root. So we know t already. So let's check. Um, we need to know v. How else do we know v? Well, v is given by f times lambda. f we can get from here as given, and lambda is where you observe the humps. Can't stress this enough. One lambda is two humps. So the lambda here is not 0.3 meter, it's 0.6 meter. Very quickly moving on, 2 hertz times 0 0.6 meter, 1.2 meters per second, because hertz is cycles per second. And then you can just solve for mu. Mu is just going to be v, oops, t over v squared, 3 newtons, which becomes kilogram meters per second squared, and divide by meter squared per second squared. And this was 1.44 would give you 2.08 kilograms per meter, which is the unit for your linear mass density. So every meter of rope is two kilograms or thereabouts, which I guess makes sense, but you basically see where you get these information from. You pull, you're usually given most of these, and then from the standing wave diagram, you pull how long the wavelength is. And that's a very, very quick and simple example.